Good evening, my name is Mitchell Hammond and I'm the Junior School and Transition Coordinator at Kawatha College. My role at the college is to make sure students from both local schools and Kawatha College make a smooth shift into secondary school life. Year 7 is an exciting time to be a part of Kawatha College as students make new friends, face adolescent challenges and explore academic and co-curricular pursuits. We work hard to ensure their time at school is a safe and rewarding experience. Students will need to cope with many new challenges and they range from a wider selection of subjects, new teachers, a new timetable, travelling on public transport, making new friends and also a greater demand on being organised and independent. For these reasons there are many ways in which we try to optimise this smooth transition at Carworth College. The first way we do this is by going to visit the students that have enrolled from local primary schools. During Term 4 I will go and visit their local primary school that way the students have had contact with at least one staff member, normally me, before orientation day. I often meet with the student and their primary teacher so I can get a better understanding of who they are and how they learn. This then helps us scaffold students' learning when they join Kawatha in the following year. It also allows the student to ask any questions about the college or raise any concerns that they may have about high school. I found this really successful. Students have so many questions to ask and often no real way to actually ask them unless they reach out to the secondary school. Secondly, we have a Year 7 Orientation Day in December, which allows students to meet staff, meet students and learn the lay of the secondary school. It's been extremely successful over the last few years and as we make sure we emphasise on building relationships with other students. As we know, this is one of the daunting aspects of coming to secondary school. Thirdly, at the start of 2021 calendar year, we'll have a two-day orientation day, which allows students to continue to form relationships, understand their learning expectations, get an overall feel for the school, but most importantly for them, know where the canteen is and the locker bay. Lastly, we have a parent meet and greet, which allows students and their families to attend an informal barbecue early in Term 1. This allows all members of the Carwatha community to interact with one another. All members of the college leadership team, including the college captains, are there to ask, answer any questions parents may have about the first few weeks of high school. At Carwatha, we have a dedicated junior school building. This is where Year 7 students have their locker bay, have a kitchenette, an indoor quiet area where they can play board games during recess and lunch. This space is where we also hold our Year 7 core classes. It's where the year level coordinators are, including myself, which means students can come and ask questions and feel safe if something is unsettling them. As you can see, our data shows our student engagement results are higher than the state and similar schools. This data is taken from the Department of Education Attitudes to School Survey. Kawatha is a small school and our aim for 2021 enrolments is to have about 70 students, which allows students to still feel valued and gives them the opportunity to have a voice within the school. I've worked at large schools previously and there's nothing worse than not knowing the name of a student, let alone anything about them. Due to our smaller enrolment sizes, staff get to know students on a personal level, faster than at most schools. But not only do they get to know them as individuals, they also get to know them as learners. It's a vital reason to success in our student learning. Our stimulated learning data, which you can see here, shows that students feel challenged and stimulated by their classroom teacher. This is due to our small class sizes and our teachers having a good understanding and knowledge of how our students learn. This chart looks at our students' sense of connectedness, to their school and learning. Once again, you can see that our students feel more connected than those in similar schools and the state average. There are many reasons for this. We have a strong wellbeing department that works with a range of students, as well as our Year 7s get partnered with a peer support leader. Our peer support program selects students from Year 10 to undertake a selection progress process and a training program so that they can meet with the Year 7 students regularly and help them with transition. During that time of the year, students often form friendships. Even though they are, there is a large age gap between them, they still come together and understand each other. Respectful relationships is something that our students work on throughout their time at Carwatha College. And due to students learning undertaking these lessons, they get to build on their knowledge of how to interact with those around them. Due to this, we have extremely low levels of bullying, 
As you can see, our data is once again lower than the state average. This is predominantly because of our peer support, respectful relationships, and that we're a small school, where students become a family. The student management team, together with the wellbeing team, and the principal class also meet regularly to discuss concerns with students and help develop strategies to help these students with their learning and their time at the college. Parents and guardians are encouraged to contact the Year 7 coordinator if they have any concerns regarding their child's progress. As you can see, this is something that is extremely successful at Carwatha as our students believe that their teachers are concerned for them and their wellbeing. Many students come to Carwatha College with some prior leadership experience. We want to help them grow these skills throughout their time at the college. This is why we place emphasis on students joining the student voice team or becoming year level or class representatives. With Carl Watha being a small school, our students have a greater opportunity to participate in leadership opportunities, which enables our community to have excellent leaders. We have a wide variety of sports that our students participate in, from our football academy to our volleyball program. As we're a small school, no student ever misses out on an opportunity to undertake sport at Carwatha College. We're also very proud of our achievements in both football and volleyball, which culminated in our senior volleyball team coming eighth in the national championships at the Gold Coast last year. Lastly, I'd like to talk to you about excursions. Year sevens pay an excursion levy at the start of the year, and this allows students to undertake all excursions over the course of the year. Our students last year went to the Melbourne Zoo, they went surfing at Phillip Island, to the Geelong Adventure Park, and also went tree surfing up in the Dandenongs. This is something that all students have had access to and enjoy, and it's an extremely important part of our experience at Carwatha College because it allows students to engage in their education. I'd like, you, I'd like to thank you for your time.